the guy. You gotta be mindful of what your what interfaces your opponents are using. <laughs> I mean, because if you were using zone, I would have to take more of a location approach. Now you're using uh, directional. It's me. All right. Then, uh, then I gotta consider more of a timing off-speed approach. That's how I play anyway. Interesting. Because, and Bill's a funky one because he's a guest pitcher too, and that's frustrating. All right. Sorry. Spacing out a little bit. No meter. Off. On. Uh, pure analog. Is this all star? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <coughs> yeah, a quick question. Hit um, me. Do you know if in, in franchise mode, do players demand trades? Do players demand trades in franchise mode? I don't think so. Luis isn't in here. No. Luis would know for sure, but no, I don't. I don't think they do. It's a good idea, though. All right. Hey, what do you say? Have a day. Throwback. We are underway Throwback. Serious light. I know. The light is bright. Barehand, no barehanded problem. by the coach. Oh, Make a play. Yeah. Oh, why would you move the PCI out of the way of where the ball is? Why would you consider doing that? I don't know. It's an interesting uh, strategy, though. It's, oh, boy. A lot of people seem to use that strategy. <laughs> I noticed. It's like you're so busy trying to protect. There we go. Get up. Uh, is that out? Wow. Oppo Poppo. Duda, Duda. Get up. Oh, that was juicy looking. Made a nice play there. Oh, boy. But hey, quick jumping out. I needed it. Sure. Give me a sec. Are you going to do Mets this? and Red Sox. Who are the Mets? I'm the Mets. 2 0 right. early. Yep. What happened? Homer? Yep. Oh, I did it again. As soon as we select them, it gives us a bunch of debug info in case we wanted to do some bug fixing. So sorry about that, but here's his wind up. Basic wind up. Get that 
code, crappy code off the screen. Now here's the first pitch. Oh boy, going analog pitching, huh? Curveball. I'm thinking that. I'm feel, it just was a, it just felt right at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. I don't know why, but. Now pitch on the way. Oh. Pretty well in carrying to deep right. Tracker down. And he will run this one down. Read off the bat for the second out. David Ortiz. Happy. Neon. Neon Poppy. Neon batting gloves. Neon tape. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Here's the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Duda. 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 Now the pitch. And a good Ooh. idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Here comes a 1-2. Oh, oh beat the shift. out of the shift, directionally hitting. That worked. <laughs> that was an inside pitch too. It felt good. It felt real good. Like you were trying to hit it off the field there. Yeah. So that's probably why you hit it up yeah, the middle. Exactly. Right. It was inside pitch. You must have had good timing on it. All right. <laughs> I think we got a DeGrom family member in there, right? Is this is this DeGrom? Is Jake, it, we only do it if it's, if it's actually DeGrom. It is. Oh, did it again. Hold on. I just it's just like you can't. It's not gonna matter if it's. I think we can figure it out. Can I go like this though? It's fine. Go into it. Is he saying check out my hair? <laughs> All right. There you go. There's DeGrom's hair. DeGrom Whoa. fan. O2. Long hair, don't care. Part of the club. Panning. Look, you have the Panning. Hair. Yep. All right. He's got hair. He's got it, and it's long like it is in real life. All right, enough of DeGrom. Can I just throw? <laughs> don't worry about your hair, DeGrom. Just throw strikes. Wait, what about his glove? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Too antsy. Cambio. Get it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right. Uh -oh. right. no. Who wants it? Party. <laughs> no one. All right. Let's go Grandy Man. The Grandy Man. Put a jolt in the one here. Nope. That's not a jolt. That is the opposite of a jolt. Barrel's playing third base for the red now. Barrel? Yep. <laughs> third base. Hilarious. I hope someone rips one. <laughs> hot corner extraordinaire. That's what I was hoping. I know he's playing. Uh, I think he started his shortstop for the A's or something. He's like, oh, come on. That'd be great if he came out of I can't wait for him to catch. Gear. I just want him to catch so bad. Like, that's what I want to yeah. see. He's going to, right? Yeah. yeah. He's going to pitch, too. I would imagine he's doing that. Tonight. Like I think he, 
the yeah. Dodgers are playing a night game and like MLB Network and some people are broadcasting it. Cool. And like I would imagine he's doing like pitching and catching. Not for that. Gonna, I'm gonna have to do some work, do some cage work on my upper half. And a mid-season form already. He'll <laughs> mm. have those swings every once in a while. <laughs> Boston fans, get used to that a little bit. Oh, I'll also do that. What are the latest odds on the internet? Do they have it? They have it. Yeah, what are the odds? <laughs> they should have closed the polls. Let's do it again. Is that yeah. right? All right. <laughs> the yeah, well, you know, odds changed, <laughs> odds changed throughout, throughout the tournament. You can still bet on a dark horse. So yeah, I'm confused. Is the losers bracket the winner of the losers bracket coming back yeah. to play the champion? I don't know. I don't know how. Or are they just they're doing like a consolation? Really, bracket? what we have here, the situation we have is we got a bunch of losers uh, trying to weasel their way back into the tournament. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, the way I understand it is, whoever the winner of this game, I play, right? But then the winner between. Me and one of you guys? Like, do we play the winner of the Blazers bracket then? Or is it just. Uh, I guess. We might be yeah, 